Hi, Kathy Pecora with Atlanta Area Property Management. So today we're going to talk about how payments get processed. So we have um, application software that's designed for property management companies. And in each piece of software, we have owner portals and we have um, tenant portals. So what happens is right around the 25th of the month, our software will start sending the tenants notices that says, hey, your payment is due on the 1st. So when the first rolls around, here's another email. They do get to click on a line that's in there and it takes them right directly to their portal. Or tenants can also set up automatic payments if they like. However, they go in, they make their payment. The process is when that tenant makes a payment, their bank will generally hold that payment for about three days. Once those payments are released, it goes to our holding house, which is, I believe it's Wells Fargo. Now Wells Fargo is going to hold it for another three days before they release it to our bank. Then our bank holds it for another three days. So in the end, the funds have been held for about 10 days. And if there are any weekends in there, and if there are any bank holidays in there, there is no processing that gets done. So that means that those funds will just sit there for an extra day, which is why sometimes on the when we have holidays, you're wondering, where is my payment? And that is why. It's because like today's President's Day, no banking activity goes on today, not even electronic processing, which is beyond me. So what happens is once those payments are released from our bank, then they get distributed to your bank and that's how you get your payment and it goes all into the portal. So what happens if the payment is late? Well, our software after three days will generate a late charge and then the tenant gets notified that, oh, they've got this extra fee out there so they better get the payment on. Most of the time that's enough to kickstart them. Our accounting department also on the third day will get involved with the list of people who haven't paid. They'll start making the phone calls trying to find out what happened, why didn't the tenant pay, and then if there is some kind of an emergency, they'll work with them on trying to get that, um, I guess, worked out so that they can catch up and move on. And that's how the rent payments work with our software.